Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another beautiful day. Today, we are going to start our new unit on graphing pairs on a coordinate plane, which will lead into data analysis later on. Today, we're going to start with something simple, which is just what is a coordinate plane and how do we graph pairs and what is a graphing pair? So the first thing we need to look at is we need to know, <coughs> pardon me, the X and Y axis. Because without knowing what is what, you're going to get very confused. So the X axis is always the horizontal line, okay? No matter where it's at, the horizontal line could be at the bottom, the horizontal line could be at the top, it could be in the middle. Wherever this horizontal line is, that is your x-axis. So the x-axis is the horizontal line. Once we found our x-axis, which is always this the horizontal line, and I make, want to make sure that you remember that when you're talking about these things, make sure you use that vocabulary, horizontal and vertical. We've now labeled our x-axis, which is the horizontal um, line on our graph. Now we need to label our y-axis. So I'm going to turn my notes, and we're going to label this our y-axis, <clears throat> which is always the vertical line. Okay, So this means that every horizontal line on a coordinate graph is always going to be part of the x-axis. Every vertical line on a coordinate graph is going to be our y-axis. <coughs> so now let's talk about a pair of numbers that you would graph on a coordinate plane. I'm going to set my graph aside for just a second. In a set of ordered numbers, for example, three comma five. Okay. This is a set of ordered numbers. The three is going to be what we find on our x-axis. The five is going to be related to our y-axis. So just to give you an idea, if we were going to graph three comma five, <clears throat> we would come to our coordinate plane. <coughs> And we are going to start at the zero. Now the zero in the very center technically is part of the y-axis and the x-axis. That zero is going to be the very center, okay? So the three is our x-axis. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna come down until I see my three and I'm gonna put a little mark. I am going to follow the vertical line up from my three until I find where it intersects with five. So this is now three, five. And that's it. You have now graphed a set of pairs, or a, a one pair on a coordinate plane. It's that simple. So in order to give you a really good idea of how this works, <clears throat> we are going to find a picture. Now, our first pair that we graphed is not part of our picture, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. We are going to start by finding 13, 6. So, and just to make this easier on everyone, we're going to start with 13 comma 6. I'm going to come to my x-axis and I'm going to come down until I find 13 and I'm going to go up 
until I find where the line, the y-axis point for 6 intersects with 13. So we have now graphed 13 comma 6. Okay, now we're going to find 12 comma 3. <clears throat> x-axis come to the 12 and go up 1, 2, 3. And if you'll notice, that's where 12 and 3 intersect. Our next ordered pair is 6 comma 9. Come to 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we're going to find 12 comma 5. Going to come all the way down to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 9 comma 12. All the way down to 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And if you notice, I'm following the line up from 9 until I get to 12. <clears throat> 13 comma, oop, 13 comma 14, 13, 14. My markers are running away on me. Ah! Come to 13 and we're going to go up until we find where 14 and 13 intersect. <clears throat> now we need to find 11 comma 5. Come down to 11. There's 5 and we're going to go up until we find where 11 and 5 intersect. 16 comma 9. Go down to 16. I'm going to find where 9 and 16 intersect. 7 comma 8. Go to 7 and find where 7 and 8 intersect. <clears throat> Now we have 8 comma 7. We just did 7 comma 8, but now we have to go down to 8 and find where 8 and 7 intersect. So it's not the same point. Now we're finding 13 comma 12. Come down to 13. I'm going to go ahead and find 12 up here and I'm going to scooch over until I find where the 13 and the 12 intersect and there we go. 9 comma 14. Come down to my 9. Find where 14 and 9 intersect. 9 comma 10. <clears throat> Come back to my 9 and go up until I find where it intersects with 10. 13 comma 5. Come down to 13 and put a dot where it intersects with 5. 9, 6. Come down to 9 and find where 9 and 6 intersect. 13, 10. <clears throat> We're going to go all the way down to 13 and find where 10 and 13 intersect. We've got just a few more and then we'll see what picture we've drawn. 12 comma 4. Come down to 12. Find where 12 and 4 intersect. 14 comma 7. <clears throat> Come down to 14. Find where 14 and 7 intersect. 11 comma 4. Come down to 11 and find where 11 and 4 intersect. 11 comma 6. Where 11 and 6 intersect. 15 comma 8. 
I'm going to come all the way down to 15. I'm going to find where 8 and 15 intersect. I'm just going to double check my 8. Yep, that's right, 15 comma 8. And last but certainly not least, 13 comma 4. So I'm going to come to 13 and I'm going to find where 13 and 4 intersect. And now we have this cute little picture that we have drawn using our coordinate plane graphing. You can probably already tell what it is, but I'm going to go ahead and use a different color marker to connect the dots for you. And this is the fun thing about coordinate graphing is that you can create pictures with it. So if you notice, these three graphed pairs and these three graphed pairs create eyes. We then have these that when connected create a mouth. These when connected create a tongue. So we have a cute little smiley face sticking its tongue out at us. All right, so that is graphing pairs on a coordinate plane. You when you look at the pair, starting with your first number, you find that number on your x-axis. Second number you find on your y-axis, and you find the lines where those two numbers intersect. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, let me know. We'll see you next time.